Hello everyone, today I'm here for Jada Blossom and it's the May release, day one. And we have the Gnome Dyes Mermaid add-ons, super fun one. And we have the Make a Splash Gnome. And I thought I was using that one, but I changed my mind. So we also have the coordinating dies, the outline dies. We have bubble stencil love that and I'll show you how I did my background in the scallop rectangles dies one and rectangles dies one uh, stitch one also we're using the um, broken china so I also have twisted citron that's a lighter shade and worn lipstick all right, so what I'm gonna do is do the background with all three of those colors. I'm going really gentle with the blue. <laughs> Have to go really dark because the other ones lay out pretty dark right away. I think it's because I use this one so much that is, there's not so much ink in there. I'm just trying to take my sweater off here. So I'm gonna do the blue on the bottom, then the green, and then I'll put the pink on the top. When you're doing layers like this, you're gonna go back and forth also. Um, so I'm doing the green, and then I'll bring back the blue just to go over the bottom a little, just to blend them better. There, I'm going back with my blue. Even if it's not perfect, it's all good because I'll be spraying with some water and there's going to be like textures that way. Then I'm putting my stencil on top. So, yeah. Just have fun with it. The pink goes right dark right away. <laughs> but that one is juicy. And when I use it on my card though, I'll flip it. I will have the blue on top, green, and then pink instead. I was thinking I'll be using it this way, but I didn't. So now I'm going back with my green on top of the pink just to blend those two together a little bit better. Because the green is much lighter than the other two. And now I have the pink one again, just back and forth, like I said. All right, so that part is done. And I have my Tim Holtz little water bottle. And I want big drops also on there, not just little ones. I like the. And then now I'm just putting where I think I need some more. So you could do that a couple times. There, I'm happy with that. And I heat set it a bit. And I should have did it a little bit longer. Because you'll see. There, I'm going to just tape that down. I'm going to pull it off a bit here, just the bottom part, and try to make it more flat because I did use heat and some water, so it was kind of a little bit wonky here. So here is the textured paste. And now I'm going to put some on the top. So I left this in. I'm thinking my paper was still wet, kind of damp, and that's why it didn't work. I'm not sure. I did this twice, and I did save my background. All I did was put my stencil right back to the same place. And, yeah. But it did not work with this paste. So you'll see I take it. And it's not sticking, so I thought, well, I'll put more pressure. Still not sticking. 
but you can see where the stencil was. So I left this in. So if you try it, you might have to, like I say, um, heat it a little bit more, but I used this one instead, the textured gel Blanco. Um, yes, it's not really for this. It's supposed to, the Blanco is to add some foil or some flock to your projects. It's not technically for this, but it worked. So I'm sticking with it and here it is all done up and all pretty. So now I'm going to use it on my card and here is my card base. And there is the little strip that was left over when I cut my piece for the top of my card. And there. I'm going to put a little bit of glue so it stays shut for me, easier to work with. So five by six and three eighths. I was going to say it before, but I couldn't remember what the the three eighths was. <laughs> six and three eighths. So there is my card front and I'm covering the whole thing. I'm not going to have white showing. No frames today because I do have that white layer already, that scallop one. So that's why. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to pop one of these layers and I decided to go all flat. So there it is. So pretty. I love the way it came out after doing it a couple times. But like I say, I saved my background. I just had to peel what was there from the first time and try it again. Lined it up the best I could. And there I put the first layer. Now I'm going to put my pretty layer down. And so I got paper from Doodlebug that matched the colors on the background. Thought it was nice and bright to match, right? And here I got, so I did not build my gnome or the background pieces on my video. If you have watched um, previous videos from me, you would know I'm having trouble with videos. So I'm keeping them smaller. Yeah, the other one was bigger, but um, that's because of the coloring and I have to cut them smaller pieces for videos. So here I'm looking, I'm really not liking that sentiment. So I grab my pocket with all kinds of <laughs> cuts there and I'm picking a different one. So then that big spot is not so bare anymore. And I could put my mermaid a little higher so then you can see more of the cuts down below. So I'm liking that much better. So I'm going to start building my other little um, bottom piece. So many beautiful cuts for this release. I just love this mermaid. So cute. And all the shells and the sea plants and ah. Uh, it's gorgeous. So there I'm going to glue my sentiment down. Have a mermaidizing birthday. Like I say, I'm not good with <laughs> puns. Mermaidizing birthday. Yeah. Yeah, there I'm going to put another layer of that ground. <clears throat> Sorry. And I put a little bit of shading on the seaweed part. I did that on the other ones also. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a little bit of ink on my little shell. I have a frog in my throat. Uh, maybe the coffee will help. There's a lot more pieces. I like to skip here and there. I'm bad. I cheat. 
as well there is a little shell down below and I put her high enough so then you can you know see the bottom and and then uh, yeah so you get all the effect here and like I said I put the blue part of my stencil up so then you can see it more because you're covering a lot of that pink already and I'm just moving my sentiment just so it fits a little bit better it goes in the groove of the hat <laughs> worked out perfect that way there I'm putting the little hand with a little fork just like the little mermaid had a little fork and I'm putting the other hand on the, the other side here so like I said I didn't build my mermaid on here but Leanne uh, always does an awesome job you want to go check that out I might do another one of these for this week coming I have no idea what I'm doing I'm going with the flow here um, <clears throat> I like to do my projects last minute thing I don't know that's me so there I'm putting all kinds of little bling here just to dress it up a little bit more and we'll start gluing gluing <laughs> gluing these little gems down the little pearl just goes and jumps off so now, now I'm trying to flip it over can't do that so I just left it the other one does the same thing it's like ah really so then I just do it with my fingers Yeah, was having trouble with the little ones. So there, there's my card all done up. I love the way it came out. Love it. So I'm going to show you again all the materials that I used for this fun card. So a lot of the brand new uh, goodies for this month. So with the stencil, that's all brand new. And then pre uh, these are in the store for a while love them use them all the time so here we go there's my card so hope you like my card for today and maybe have a video for tomorrow hopefully and I'll see you soon bye